So I want to go over some of the nuances of addressing some of the postural muscles, such as the teres minor major, the infraspinatus. So a lot of you have done pin and stretch modalities and you're using your thumbs or different areas of your hands, but I want to show you a little different way to address this. So I guess you bring your arm up here, Mickey. And uh, so use your forearm, go on the back here, and have the patient reach forward. You okay? Oh yeah. And then bring your arm from supination to pronation and then come across <laughs> like that. Good. Now, just bring this back. And let's go across and then come across, reaching up and across, and then really bring your arm into pronation, my arm being, and back. Again, how are we doing? Doing good. <laughs> yeah, you really yes. feeling that there? Yeah, especially the very end. <clears throat> yeah, go slow, go slow, take it across. Now, you really won't feel much until I start going across the head there, will you? Yep. And then you can really feel it. <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to take both arms and really stretch it out in different directions here. Just one more time. So go with your forearm in a supinated position, take it across, reach up, pronate. Cross. And then you can just change your position so we get up more towards the tears in here, right there. You okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can really feel that though, can't you? Oh, big time. Good. Great. So this is a very effective way of addressing all of these posterior muscles here. And don't forget, we have a lot of fascial connections between the different layers of muscles. So we may say, oh, I only have a problem with tears minor or major in reality it is multiple structures that you're addressing. So again, take your time, you know, really focus on creating some tension in the area and you'll actually start to feel the release.